What's going on guys, it's Kuday here and today we're going to do a quick video and this video is going to go over what to do when you first download Mortal Kombat because there's going to be a lot of people who see maybe an ad or they see something related to Mortal Kombat and they download it for the first time. This video isn't going to be for people who have an account at level you know, 30 or 40. It could be depending on what your collection looks like. So in this case, here's, here's this uh, new account that I just created. Okay, so as a beginner, I just downloaded this game and I went through the tutorial, now what? Take a look at your collection if you have just downloaded this game. If your collection does not have MK11 Scorpion, delete the game and re-download it and try again. Let me explain. For any beginner who is not aware, when you install the game for the first time and create an account, you are offered a free pack. It didn't used to be like this. It used to just be a beginner pack with a silver character as the reward, which was pretty bad. But then they changed it to a diamond or a gold. Now here's the problem. There are two diamond packs, diamond pack one and diamond pack two. One contains 500 souls and one just contains 5,000 coins. The 500 souls is good and all, that's nice. But what you're looking for is that MK11 diamond guaranteed. You need to pull Scorpion. So if you have a brand new account and you have no progress, just start over again until you get MK11 Scorpion. Why is this the case? Because MK11 Scorpion is the best character in the game, pretty much. He's right there with Classic Rain. They're offering you a free Diamond Scorpion, you just have to delete the game and reinstall it enough times. If you are on Android, there's a simpler way to pull it off. Just go to your settings, go to the storage, I'm going to be showing it on screen, uh, and then go to Mortal Kombat Mobile and click clear data. This will wipe your game save. Now, if your account has no diamonds and you're level like 30 and you have practically no collection, let's just say you only have a few golds, this can work. I would, I would say restart. Restart if you haven't already. Now, why do I say restart and have to retry? Because there are so many MK11 characters and they even include new ones. Noob Cybot, Jade, Sub-Zero, Scarlet, you get my drift. There are so many MK11 characters that you are potentially able to pull. You need to narrow down on Scorpion. If you get a gold, you just need to you know, start over again anyways. Getting a diamond is the priority number one, getting the diamond pack from the new uh, account creation. But after you get MK11 Scorpion, what's the next step? These are just the first things to know, all right? We're not gonna go over in-depth uh, farming. We're just gonna talk about the first steps. What we wanna do after that is play battle mode, okay? You have MK11 Scorpion to your name. You are going to complete battle mode with ease, all right? You will complete it start to finish he's the best fighter and he does a lot of damage so we're just gonna put pretend like i have scorpion right and we just go through all the battle mode and we get all the souls and it also gives you xp because getting xp is going to be crucial when have a look the crypt unlocks at level 25. next thing on our list challenges some challenges are going to be new classic shang Tsung, classic noob Saipot, classic jade and other characters if you see a Denny of Blood Katana, Classic Shang Tsung, a Denny of Blood Rain, or Classic Noob Saibot, Classic Smoke, if you see any of those five characters, do the challenge ASAP. Because depending on when you install this game, you're going to see different challenges. All right? A Denny of Blood Rain and a Denny of Blood Katana are not challenges as of the making of this video, but in the future, they will be challenges for sure, and people will be viewing this video needing to know that information. Morpho Katana is the ch current challenge, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, silver characters are easy to unlock because you can just go and buy silver packs. Now, silver packs are about 30,000 a piece. I do recommend buying these, but you need to get some coins. And the best way to get coins is battle mode. Battle mode gives a heck of a lot of coins uh, just by going start to finish. So you want to get some silver characters, level them up. And when you start this game, you want to just play a few tower runs. As of the making of this video, Two towers are currently in the game, Sorcerers and Adenian. It's not going to be like that in the future. Sorcerers is important because it's a normal, easy tower. This is from a long time ago, so this tower should be pretty easy for all beginners. Play a few games with this tower, uh, get some easy rewards, and if you can't beat battles, click fight and quit. Just quit. If you can't beat a battle, you quit it because you still get rewards. Watch this. 
I'm still gonna get free stuff, like equipment. It's a, it's a no-brainer. Do not refresh attempts on towers, which if you don't know what a refresh is, after all five of these games, it's going to offer me uh, 30 souls to do a refresh. Don't do it because you don't need to yet. You need to wait until you can get your characters up just a little bit. Play Shao Kahn Tower. Shao Kahn Tower is really easy. I don't think you should refresh your attempts on Shao Kahn Tower because the rewards at the end are not that astonishing. You just need some talents. You need to play a few of these every day because you get some souls and some coins. Trials. Some of these trials are going to be easy. Some of them are not going to be easy. Uh, just get the ones you can. Uh, you know, like winning one one game of Faction Wars, uh, 10k coins right there. That would uh, get my coins up enough to be able to buy a silver pack. So that's definitely worth completing. A quick play battle is right here in Faction Wars. Um, we're going to choose Black Dragon. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Uh, pretty much every single one has a lot of difficulty and cheaters, to be fair. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, a, it's a mixed bag there. You can probably win a game or two of Faction Wars. I'm sure you can pull it off. Then you can get the nice sweet trial. Uh, earning ranks getting 900 of these battle points is easy because all we need is to play one or two games that's not bad getting to 25k would take a while so we don't have to hit that the next thing you need to do when you first install this game is a console link i have a whole video on the console link which i'll put right here at the top right corner of the screen this is important but but hear me out please because a lot of people just ignore this information and they go begging in comment sections, or to me personally, or even people on Discord. If you don't own a console or a PC that can play MK11, or you don't have the money to buy MK11, or you don't even have a console or a PC to begin with, just don't bother, all right? Don't bother with the console link. You can do console links at any given time. You can, you can do a console link six years after you create your account, all right? So don't stress about it, all right? Just wait until you can get MK11 in the future. But you can see here, you get a code, uh, and if you have MK11, you just enter it in on the PC or the console. I'm pretty sure there is an MK11 pack you get offered at the beginning of the game, which like guarantees an MK11 diamond. But considering they already give you a free pack when you start the game, I don't think it really matters. You just need one copy of Scorpion and that's it. Fusion Zero Scorpion can complete so much, you have no idea. He is just simply the best. <laughs> yeah, you can see here there's other trials to complete. And if you were, if you were, to unlock the MK11 console link, you can get a free diamond. It's an MK11 diamond, which means you have the capability of obtaining, uh, you know, Jade, so Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero would be a good diamond to get with Scorpion because then Scorpion has an extra life. MK11 Sub-Zero gives all MK11 teammates a second life because they turn into an ice clone at the end and then they pop. The last thing to do as a beginner is to enter quest mode and just start it, all right? Just, just throw something in there and just start quests. That's it. Keep unlocking as many quests as humanly possible until you can't, until the um, indicator here at the top just is way too low. And that's it. That's where you want to start as a beginner. You can work your way up higher than this, right? We're talking about just installing the game. What are the first steps? But there's so much more to be able to do in the future. The pack you want to go for when you obtain souls as a beginner is probably going to be the gold pack. You just want to get as many golds as humanly possible, max them out, because you have Scorpion, right? If you installed and did all this stuff properly, you have Scorpion. You're good. You don't you don't necessarily need uh, anything else. So you just want to max out some basic golds, right? And there are better soul packs coming out with every single update. There are some brutality soul packs and whatnot, and there's packs that have the newest characters in them. So if you are trying to get some of the newest characters, we're talking about classic movie, Johnny Cage, Fire God, Liu Kang, classic movie, Raiden, Ace of Naves Joker, MK11 Fujin. There's so many packs in the game now that include these new characters. So if that's what you're going for and that's what you're here for, then go for packs like Divine Storm Pack, Earth Elemental Warriors Pack. You get my drift, just more and more in the future. But start out slow and just max some golds out. The reason why you need max golds is so you can do things like challenges. And look what challenges are gonna guarantee you. Souls, tons of them, but also coins. I think for a beginner, don't, don't even focus on this, especially if the combat pass isn't good. Now, if this combat pass is Johnny Cage in the future, then definitely do it right away because Johnny Cage is one of the best golds and you need to get ascension points for him because he's amazing. Currently, it's Mournful Katana. She isn't good. All right, she just isn't that good at all. She's not worth it. You don't really need to grind for her. Of course, when I say grind for her, 
I mean the ascension points, because yeah, you don't even get her without paying. So it doesn't really matter anyways. The game mode that's going to give you the most XP is going to be Faction Wars. So if you're trying to grind XP for characters, just do some quick play battles. I promise you, you will see XP come in fast. Although I have to say it's going to be repetitive. I know it's going to be repetitive. Auto mode doesn't even unlock until you're, uh, you know, highly leveled up. So it's, it's going to be a lot of manual grinding, a lot of tedious things. But if you want those new characters and you want to see your account progress fast, 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 this is the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry for this kind of short, brief uh, introduction to just downloading the game. I think it's important for a tutorial like this to exist. I don't see it often uh, because I, I, I feel like people are focusing on farming and like late game type of stuff or mid game, but no one ever, you know, focuses on what do I do? I just downloaded the game, right? That's what this is. Let me just give a big shout out to me too. Members, we have JDB, Brayden, Friendly Guy with the Spurger, Press GG, Darkside, Noxon, Bagor, Ez Halarson, Legend YT, Titan Beast, Lace, Jan, Tolga, Hamath, Stan Marsh, Giuliano Games, Tab, Random, Combat Max, Goku, Aiden, Katana, Plain Punch, Jeremy, Ghosty XL, Shocks YT, Jeff, Grimmer Mia, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and MK Fire. Thank you all for being YouTube members, and welcome to the new members. And yeah, peace out.